Hi guys, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a catacorn, so let's get started. To draw this catacorn, we're going to first start by drawing its ears. So, but right here, I'm going to start and draw two curves at an angle. So I'm just going to come up and then down. Like an angle like that and then from here I'm going to start to draw the center uh, where the horn is and so right here I'm just going to kind of imagine this is where it's all going to be and I'm just going to come in here and give it a curve so this is just the top of its head so about that much let's see about this much and then I'm going to come up and draw the other ear so I just want to make sure that I'm at the same level all right there and then I'm going to go up and draw the other ear so I'm just going to come right across all right here give myself a point so I know the ears are a little approximately the same height and once again just bring it down okay so that's the shape that we're aiming for and then from there we can go ahead and draw the curve for the side of the cat's face so let's come over here and i'm going to come to this side so i can just slowly build it so it's a little bit more even and i'm going to bring it in and let's see here so this is my center but right here so just bring this in a little bit more like that okay i'm just going to stop right there and let's go back up here and draw the horn so in the center right here i'm just going to give myself a little curve right where i drew this huge big curve So this is the base of my horn and I'm just going to bring it up. So let's find my center, say about right here, about that tall. It's up to you. And I'm just going to bring an angle line down on both sides and connect it. And then you can come in here for some details, just draw some curves, maybe three of them. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to draw the hair, the mane. So I'm going to come continue this curve up about right there, and then I'm going to sweep it into a curve. Nice dollop. <laughs> and then bring it right back in to this curve. So then you come in here for some details so you can give it some different colors. Just give it some movement. So about right there. Maybe, see, depending on how many colors you want to add. Let's see here. Add this one right there. And one more. Like that. Okay, so then now let's come in here for some details for the ear. I'm going to imagine this curve continuing. So about right here, draw a curve and connect it. So same thing here, just imagine this curve continuing connected for the inside of the ears okay so then now let's bring this catacorn to life so kind of in the center area right here I'm going to start um, and draw the eyes so towards the edge I'm just gonna draw in a big circle so same thing on the other side Okay, and then now let's make them draw so cute eyes. So come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here, and a curve line, and shade in the top. Thank you for continuing to love all my Jossa Q unicorn drawings. 
and inspire me to keep continuing to draw them for you. So if you love unicorns, make sure to check out my unicorn playlist. There's all kinds of unicorns, panicorns, <laughs> now a kitty corn, and of course a regular unicorn. So up here, let's come in here. I'm just going to give a little curve for some lashes right at the top. The same thing right here, just a small little curve. And then let's come in the center right here and draw the mouth. So right in the center about right here, give myself a point and I'm just going to bring out a curve and another one on the other side like that. Nice and simple. <laughs> okay, so then let's come up here and just draw a curve right on top of the eye. And when you're coloring it, just add some cheeks right there. Okay, so now to draw the body. Let's come over here. So this is my center, everything about right here. Let's center the body. So just bring this curve in a little bit more. And I'm just going to draw my little dumpling body. So it's just going to be wider towards the bottom. And bring it in. Okay, so then I'm not going to finish off this curve. I'm just going to imagine there's, I'm giving myself a little cut off right there and I'm just going to come right here and draw a curve. And the reason is because I'm going to stick some legs right here. So I'm come in this area and just draw a curve. Very simple cartoon feet. Makes it a lot easier to draw, right? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so we've got two feet in. And now to draw the hands. So once again, it's very simple, just to curve up. So about right here, this is my center. Just a curve and another one over here. There, nice and simple. And you can come in here if you want with two little curves for the pause. And then right in the center, if you want, you can have it holding a heart. So I'm just going to give myself a point right in the center and draw my heart. Or you can have a whole a star, whatever you want. Okay, that is basically it for the body. So then now if you want to give it wings, you can just come to the side right here. Oh, I almost forgot to give my cat some whiskers. So very important. Sorry. Let's come over here. And I'm just going to pop out two whiskers. I bet you guys saw that, right? And you're screaming at me. Okay, so about right there. And I got my two whiskers. Okay, now for the wings. So let's come about right here. And I'm just going to pop out three curves. So one two and three and tuck it back in it's very very simple wings so come over here so same thing one and so i just want to make sure i end at the same spot over here two and three there and then now for the tail so i'm going to come about in this area right here and just sweep out a long gorgeous tail so all the way up and then tuck it back in oops and then you come in here for some details so you can add some colors different colors to it so just come in here follow your curves So there, my draw so cute catacorn. Hope you guys love it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.